Dude, this soundtrack is such a vibe. I'm amazed it's so vibey. <laughs> vibey? Is that is that is that a word? It probably is a word. And you know what else is a word? Three, two, and one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the PNR stream today on this fine. 20th of November 2023. There is a lot of 20s in this. In fact, I don't even think... I mean, we're gonna get a 27th and we'll probably get a 20... Uh, nah, I don't think I'm gonna do it for Christmas. I don't think it's gonna be the right time, so... I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. My week has been uh, good fun. Good fun. I feel like I've accomplished a lot of things. Uh, and you know what else I've accomplished? Booting up the game in the first minute of the stream. Let's, let's jump over to that. Can can I do this before the song ends? Because it's a really short song. It's like a minute seven. Woo! There's the audio, and there's the video. So yeah, so we're doing Tomb Raider 3. In the last stream, uh, we did all the, um, the Nevada, the Area 51 uh, content. And uh, we've wandered into the coastal village of South Pacific Island, where we have immediately started by swimming in water. Now, uh, right off the bat, uh, the level does not really highlight what you're actually, I mean, quite where you're going, but, uh, if you're astute, you would have noticed there's a little side area over here, and in here is a key. Uh, and then if I told you, you don't need the key, it's like, oh, like, you know, you can break out the level. No, as in, if you're super astute, you'll e eventually notice, or rather, you'll spot on a second playthrough, that there's two alternating paths that lead into the second half of the level. Uh, one of them has an extra secret. Uh, in fact, actually, I think... I can't recall which level. It might be the third level. It might be the third one. There's probably, like, just bits all over that you could do some wacky stuff on. Um... But, uh, I, I now have to start this stream with another correction about the number of secrets in the game. Because, uh, I originally thought, oh, there's like 72 secrets and you need 59 of them. Now, no, there's no, there's not 72 secrets in the game. But you do need 59 of them in order to beat the game. So, on my second stream, I was said, oh, okay, like, you know, correction, there's only 59 secrets. I take it back. There's 60. One of these levels has two, or has an extra secret. Um, so you would use the key in this room. Um, I think it's, you know, the less exciting, even if it's got, you know, maybe a secret. Lara, you good there? You good? There you go, she figured it out. She figured it out. Um, I think it's probably, uh, well, one, the slightly less exciting, and two, the one I didn't accidentally wander into. Uh, go down this ramp and you are now officially locked into the other pathway. Um, but they both end up in the same place, and, uh, I'm cheating my way for the, the secrets, so. So, uh, let's wander our way into here, and, uh, continue the realm of very, very dark level design. Um, new to the South Pacific, you will be pleased to know there are no snakes. We have actually gotten rid of snakes from the game. Unfortunately, we have, uh, replaced them with natives. We will just swing, like axes and things at you and uh later on we'll start to encounter blow dart um natives and they get kind of annoying uh we're also uh privy to mm, pro probably a feature i like even less about this game we had the mud earlier this is a proper quicksand and if you don't climb out quite quick enough lara will submerge her head in well i guess maybe you gotta sand a little bit more and Okay, I guess I gotta really stand in here. But uh, there's some parts where it's like, oh, you, you're very stuffed if you just touch that. You know, you might as well save. Um, you can see there's a med kit over there, and I'm gonna need every single one of them. So, let's grab them as we can. Oh! This is not a blow dart player. A blow dart guy that is just blow darts. A trap, if you will. They've done this in every Tomb Raider at this point, haven't they? The whole, you know, blow dart trap that seems like a classic. Just like me jumping in the the mud like that. Can I get out? Okay. Well, game was nice. Game was nice. It let me out. It let me out. 
but yeah, no, I hope you all are having a wonderful, um, you know, mid-November. Oh my goodness, is it Thanksgiving next week or this week coming up? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see if I can time this right. There we go. Good stuff. And ju always, after a jump, you can guarantee. Always guarantee. Where is he? There he is. Every time. Every time. There's always a guy. Hi there. They're not too bad, but they, they do... Yeah, they, they do stick around for a bit. Um, now, to preface what we're going to have to do... I don't know if it's... Oh, it was very just slightly visible there. But it's very visible if you are... I'm just going to keep saying, if you're astute and you spot that, ah, yes, you can climb up here and actually climb even further up. You'll spot that, um, what you'll eventually need is, uh, three gems. I think you can just keep going up, yeah. It's like, it's like, oh, okay, you're not just breaking your way out of the map. It's like, no, 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 that's required. This is required climbing. Um... But yeah, there's one gem over there. Uh, this alternate pathway requires three keys, three of these gems. And they're all along there, but um, you need all of them in order to exit this just section, this area. None of the areas actually involve too large of puzzle, you know, sleuthing. But spotting that, you know, there's a gem over here. And another one which uh, is on this high ledge is definitely a bit of a bit of a doozy. Uh, where is the other one actually? Because there's three. But what I did notice is that there is a secret just here, which is indeed one of the secrets of the level. Uh, we have. Which one are we? We have three secrets. Most of the levels have three secrets at this point. Um, but some have more. Uh, also, just a note, uh, for some reason, uh, this is called the Aura Dagger. The jewel we got from the last world. Um, according to uh, Stella's guide. Um, yeah, no, that, that's wrong. And the developer just was like, yeah, no, like, we goofed. It really should have been uh, the name of the next element. Um... I think it's actually called Element 51, like the, the prize of the next dungeon. The next dungeon? The prize of this world is called that, and the uh, Aura Dagger makes more sense to be uh, the name of this one. Uh, there is actually a low ledge down there as well. Let's see if I can... I think we can slide down. Yeah. Um, but you gotta keep your, your eyes about, because there's some real cheeky ledges all over the place. There's this bit down here. You know when the music starts, you know it's a good time to drop your save. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got a few topics for this uh, week. We've got um, the joys of the Game Award nominations, which I should totally pull up on my phone. Let's actually, let me, let me cue that up right now. Game Awards 2023. There we go, then I can, then I can rip on them. Um... Oh, I want, no, I want Wikipedia, because then I can actually scroll through it. No, give me Wikipedia. Da, 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 da. This is, this is how I know I should have prepped. Uh, Game Awards. Where's, <laughs> I appreciate I typed the Game Awards 2023, and then it said, you know what? We're not going to link it. Thanks, Ecosia. Okay, well, I've got it. Uh, I've also got the, um, the F1. Uh, as a topic, um, the Las Vegas Grand Prix, the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix. Here's a, another gem. It's actually kind of, you know, if you climbed on the top, you'd actually get uh, washed down this river. And uh, if you're standing in the right spot, you can fall on this ledge. But why don't you just stand on this ledge, you know, right the first time? Maybe even got a ladder on the other side just to really highlight this, like, fun jump. Uh, you could drop, but if you you look closely, it's all spikes, and uh, they didn't render anything more in that direction, so... Um, yeah. Uh... And I don't think we've really got, uh, hardware releases. Nah, we've got the Threadripper release, that's... Like... 
there's not enough news on it right now because it is like just coming out so um i'll probably talk about that a bit more next week but uh but yeah like i mean we're approaching that like spooky end of the year when it's like oh my goodness i gotta be buying christmas presents for people because think about it you know this is stream number three and yes i didn't grab that gem i don't know why probably because my health is fine um Uh, but yeah, like, I mean, Thanksgiving's coming up, that's when all the sales are. Don't, don't, remember, don't invest too hard in your consumerism. Also, hi there, how are you, how are you doing? Oh, is he, he's just gonna leave? I've noticed there's actually quite a handful of spots in this world as well, where, like, enemies will just, like, be in areas or ledges where it's like, they can't run away. Their AI tries to get them to run away and move from your gunfire while you're, you know, you're in a spot they can't walk into, but... Uh, so... Let's use, I mean, we're going to use two of the gems, but you can clearly see there's three spots because we need to grab that one last one that's on the way. There we go. Uh, that serpent key, serpent key? Smuggler's key uh, will just be chilling in my inventory for this whole level though, but it does disappear once you're in the next level, so don't worry about that. Uh, we get to get that one last key, one last gem there. Um... Yeah, uh, it always, we don't even celebrate Thanksgiving here in Australia. But it is very interesting that, um, you know, like, uh, the Black Friday, they'll refer to it as Black Friday here a bunch, um, just this idea, it's all down, downstream of just, like, massive sales, um, we have, uh, maybe the semblance of, uh, Cyber Monday, which is not, you know, <laughs> that's, a, that's a, fr oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna c catch fire off that, like, wonderful, wonderful fire effect, um, I think the best way to get down is just to slide down from here. Yeah. Um, but, uh, like, yeah, we don't, we don't have Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving is a, it's a very United States thing, ain't it? Something like that. Um, but, yeah, no, that's when companies are like, let's have big sales well before people have all their, uh, Christmas ideas planned out. Also, you can tell exactly what's going to happen when you slide down here. That's right. Not really anything. Uh, welcome to the second half of the level. It's actually not too bad a level. Once you've done that, you've sort of already done a fair bit of the grounds. Uh, we're now in this village. Um, I think the other path basically has like a, a corridor and a bunch of just like cheeky cave jumps that will lead you up into, eventually, this, uh, this place. And they all slide down, so you can't work your way back to the other area. Um. They got them jungle beats going. That's good fun. Is this the kind of thing I want to be, you know, the kind of place I want to be in while talking about Thanksgiving? I don't know. <laughs> is, it, is that safe? Maybe. Drop down the ledge, and, uh, you'll be greeted by more people who are, you know, Feeling great about, you know, Lara coming in dressed to impress. And she is wearing a, you know, tight green pants and the smallest, like, sports bra I can think of. I mean, it is, if you're in the South Pacific, you know, that's that place gets hot in, in some parts of the year. So sure, I'll accept that. Um, all these huts are just muddy as. You can hear the squelching. Greetings, Blob. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, the topic of this week is, uh, well, we got, we got a couple, but it, it'll, it'll eventually get into the Game Awards, but right now I'm just, just got up. Oh, <laughs> what's the local time for you? Because I have had a, it's not really a busy day, but, uh, I've, I've committed, like, 3,000 lines changed today. I'm just, like, we're just, we're just cramming out the, uh, the copy-paste work. 10.45, I'm awake since 9. This is such a mean room. This, like, I was wandering into those other huts. All fine. You're gonna notice Lara doesn't walk into this. Because, because it's bait. It's just bait. You can't pick it up. You think you can walk out? But no. She's fully sunk. She won't be able to leave. You can't get out of here! It's actual, actual trap room. It's a big health as well. It's like, that's a luxury. 
an abated luxury. Uh, I, I hope you also like the poor screen being different for every world, which uh, at this rate has been every stream and hopefully can keep up with that. Uh, this is where we need to go, but uh, not at the moment. Um, oh, you, you do die. You, you, you drown. So your, your oxygen bar starts going down and then eventually you die and uh, there's no escape. Uh, but definitely, there's a route out of here. Has your, uh, it has not been accepted yet. No, the, I, I think it's, 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 it's moving up in the queue, but it just hasn't gone in the queue. I haven't, haven't drawn it yet. So we're still waiting on it. Um, I've got an idea for a follow-up game. Uh, again, another game I have not played on, on stream, uh, but I have a, a copy of a Rayman Hoodlum's Revenge. Hoodlum's Revenge on this is a blow, uh, blow dark guy. It's very annoying because he doesn't deal much damage, but he poisons you. Uh, also on the GBA. And I thought, well, you know, that's another one that's on my shelf and I've never really addressed ever. I must have beaten that one at some point, right? Maybe. Oh, I thought that was a guy with like a quiver. No, it's just a log with a bit there. This is a very, I actually play, I played through this whole world last week and I feel like I probably burnt myself out on a lot of Tomb Raider. So that's why Tomb Raider 3 started to like, you know, fall out of my, my memory. But as I replayed this world, I realized how very smart this whole world is. And I think it, you know, you need someone to like point out the fact of uh, what you're really looking out for. Because it's very easy to just like think past and, and, and you know, forget. Um, but this whole world really opens itself up in a very nice way. Like even if you don't. You know, you didn't see, you know, you went around that place clockwise. Um, like, you know, you, you'll eventually find that one gap there. It's not too bad. It's cheating to play the level the day before the stream. I, it is a little bit, but uh, in, in my defense, one, I didn't do it for Shadow Man. So, I, I will tell you that. I, uh, Shadow Man was completely from memory. Um... And it's because these streams would go on forever if I had not... Well, not forever, but like I'd get through like two levels of stream. Um, yeah, 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 the four hours, yeah. I did not I did not do it with um, the other two Tomb Raiders, though. And Tomb Raider 1, it's like I know that one so much better than <laughs> any of these other two. But uh, Tomb Raider 2, it's like, yeah, I got there in the end. Um, but yeah, on onwards, it was like, yeah, no, like... I only remember it because I'm like coming back to it and going, oh yeah. Um, that, note that swamp, by the way, uh, because I love the way that they've structured this whole level. Um, but uh, yeah, we open that gate, so let's head through the gate. Um, and that's always a trade off, I guess, because it's like I do want to show off games 100%, but I also, you know, feel like I need a bit of a, you know, uh, a bit of knowledge coming into it. Um, but I would, I would like to highlight more games that I want to play blind or something like that. Um, that is where I slid in from. No, that's where you'd slide in from the other direction. Yes, yes, you'd actually come in from here, which seems a lot more uh, downhill, does it not? <laughs> um, yeah, I gotta find some gifts for my family and my friends for the whole Cyber Monday. Um, I mean, you could get it in the next week, but, you know, it'd be cool if you could... That is where I came from. So, I'm just getting myself turned around, and there must be... That's the hill. What was it? It was, like, just through here, was it not? No, because I, I wandered in here, and it was just, like, a weird... Dead... No, 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 it was here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, also... Cheeky spot. Cheeky spot for some shotgun, eh? Uh, and don't worry, you don't lose your weapons at all in the rest of the game, so... 
Whatever I'm picking up now, like more shotgun ammo. Oh, that's great. I can use it. I've even got the MP5 and the grenade launcher chilling, just in case. Just in case. I was expecting some dudes to walk in on me. They don't do the mud trap anywhere else as well, so... Um... So let's dive into the whole... The Game Awards 2023. Uh... I mildly predicted... I think I said last week. And if I didn't, then darn, I wish I had said it. But I noted in my mind that there were two games I had played this year. And I thought they were great. And they did come out this year. Uh, which was Metroid Prime Remastered, and which, uh, man, it's that ages ago that Metroid Prime Remastered came out, right when I streamed it. Th literally, they announced and then, you know, <laughs> released it between the two streams. That was a bit weird, but uh, Quake 2 is the other one, um, which technically it's a remaster. It was released on all the other consoles, and uh, yeah, of course, of course some guy walks in. I hope you can see what's going on there. Uh, but yeah, both of those technically have remasters that came out this year. And, uh... I was like, nah. They're not gonna- they're not gonna nominate those because they're not noteworthy. People didn't talk about them. But, other remasters, like... Resident Evil 4 and Dead Space... Oh yeah, they're noteworthy. They'll get Game of the Year nominations. Um, I didn't... Remember off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, Advance Wars was also one, and and that got a nomination. And so I'm like, hmm, how come Metroid Prime and uh, Resident Evil 4 was a remake? Oh, that that's what I mean. They were all remakes, but like Metroid Prime and Quake 2 are not popular, and therefore, oh yeah, sorry, there are differences. That is true, and I I do want to note that because I was thinking, hmm, yes, Metroid Prime is. Ultra faithful in, to the point of, I'm arguing about like you know the the charge beam like weirdly going off a little wrong. Um, Quake two, I'm a little bit. Uh, they didn't change the story, but it is it is sufficiently adding in enough cut content that one could argue it's a little bit more than just a port. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's. You're right, it is- it is more a remake in the sense of... It is different. It's got different levels, it's got different, um... You know, cutscenes and basically everything from the ground up, as opposed to just... Same game, different console. Um... And same thing with the Dead Space Remaster, I'll agree to that. Uh... Advance Wars... Mm, mm, maybe... Tomb Raider Anniversary is a remake, while Tomb Raider Remaster is just the same game. That is also true. That is also true. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver are remakes. The Grand Fire Ray were remasters more. I believe there's a Scott the Waz video on on um, remakes, remasters, reboots, uh, which is always a, a fun topic, um, and uh, and it's basically just like yeah, like you know we can we can draw these lines, but it's like sometimes a game rides that line so close. Um, and I, I, I would argue, for example, the Shadow Man remaster, which ha it has a remaster in the name, that's why I'm calling it that. <laughs> um, I think we're actually, I think we actually gotta go to the, to here. I'm wandering around looking for like something, but I'm like, oh, there's a ladder right here. Um, reboot's a completely new timeline. Yeah, re, well, mmm, mmm. Was Hitman on a new timeline? Because also Hitman 2016, despite maybe being a reboot and naming convention, isn't much of a reboot. It's very much building on Absolution and Blood Money. So it's like, oh, we get into this fun, fun, you know, topic of like, what is a remaster and what is a reboot? Point is, I don't want to focus too much on that because Quake 2 got snuffed. Quake 2 has not gotten a mention in... The Game Awards. Uh, the Hitman 2016 considers the story of the previous game's game. Well, that's what I mean, but it's... Remake is Dream Anniversary, yeah. Look at this magical ledge that's chilling up here. Remaster is Tomb Raider Remaster. I don't- I- I do agree with that. I do agree. Like... Well, I- 
what, what, what I really want to focus on is that, like, aren't these all games that get released? Then it's not a reboot. That Hitman game is a sequel. It is a sequel, but it's named like a reboot. <laughs> and it's marketed like a reboot. Ah, uh, we got some fire over here. Is Doom 2016 a reboot? I, I'm, tr I'm trying to piece my head around like what, what, which ones I've played that like are reboots and are remakes. Cause like Doom 2016, like it openly keeps acknowledging that like, you know, there's other Doom games, but it's not really. Mortal Kombat 2009, Mortal Kombat 1 are also reboots. Oh uh, yeah. There's... <laughs> Battlefield 1 is not a reboot. <laughs> Just to, just to, just to get very confusing. Uh, I love this section here because it's like, what do you do? And the answer is, you go very carefully and then you're probably just going to slide in, but slide in, take a bit of heat. I think that's just what they want you to do. There's skulls in the texture, you know that. I can't afford to keep doing that. More examples, it has... The whole new timeline wiping all previous continuity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it can definitely get there. Whereas like, yeah, like Advanced Wars is like, yeah, clearly there's no removed continuity. It's the same game again. Look at this little dark little room. All of that work to climb on the rooftops and all that does is it doesn't even stop the fire. It just gives you, oh, hi there. It just gives you a fun platform that will let you deal with that area. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. These guys don't drop anything as well. It's, it's a bit of a bummer. Um, moral of the story is, uh, if Quake 2 and Metroid Prime are good fun games that came out in 2023, how come no Game of the Year nominations? Or not even, like, just Game of the Year, but, like, any of those Game Award nominations? There's, there's none. And one could argue... Maybe they are so close to the source material that it would be a little unfair saying that some of the best games of all time are also the best games of this year. Um, I would argue, one, Advance Wars, and two, um, remakes and reboots are very fine line because they both usually wipe in continuity while remasters. There's no fine line, it's the same game with updated texture. Um, I do agree with that. Um, re... yeah, re... Um, Remakes are kind of interesting as well because there's quite a lot where they like you get a you get a choice of wiping continuity or you know expanding continuity effectively. Um, I think uh, some examples are uh, uh, I recently played through Chrono Trigger on the SNES and uh, Chrono Trigger on the DS had uh, a little bit of extra content at the end, which also does expand the story a little bit. Um, so I would say. Mm, RE2 and to four wiped continuity from the original games. Ah, I gotta stop doing that, man. I gotta stop walking off the edge. Walk off the edge. Did they wipe any continuity with uh, the Resident Evil 1 remake in 2002? I love how that one's technically like, that's the reason why, you know, it seems like they started from 2 because that's just the very recent one. But yeah, you can do that jump. Press this button, and uh, away we go. Oh my god, where did you come from? Where did you come from, bro? It's so annoying as well, because that fire is still there. So if you're not careful, you're going to get hit by that fire. Which uh, is amazing, because there's this little tiny, like, cupboard here. Uh, RE1 remake. I believe nothing was wiped, just expanded on. 2, 3, 4 are not faithful to the original source. Press this button, you, you just set on fire. This, this is just a fire cupboard. There's no, there's no reason to press that button. It's just there to set yourself on fire. I would imagine maybe you could have tricked that guy to stand in there, but nah. Hey. There we go. I... What kind of temple has these magical, like, metal saw blades just automatically wired? Like, that stuff needs someone, you know, hand cranking in the other room. Also, I love this texture. I love this wall texture. It's, just, it's so 1998. I love it. Um, so yeah, so moral of the story is, I don't know, man, I, I feel like Metroid Prime 
got snuffed because I really enjoy that game. Full stop. It's my favorite game of all time. And it got a release and no mention in the Game Awards. And I'm not saying, you know, every game needs, you know, a Game Award nomination, but I'm, I'm just saying if Dead Island 2 can get a nomination, I don't know, man. Someone's gonna say, I don't think it did just because RE4. Well, RE4 is a brand new game, but is Advance Wars a brand new game? Because Advance Wars get, gets a game nomination. The cut content in RE4 like Capcom. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, like, like that's what I mean. Uh, and Quake 2 in the same ways, but, um... I'm not... Why am I going this way? Because, uh, yeah, yeah they didn't they didn't exactly show it off in, in this level, for reference. Um, but, uh, in this water, there's a little door, and it only opens up as you press that, like, button at the end of uh, that corridor that we just went into. I know, they don't exactly highlight it. And a little crocodile just coming to greet us. We're gonna kill a lot of crocodiles today, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I'm gonna climb out of here before he bothers me. The other game, though, Advance Wars. Advance Wars is um, uh, a uh, Game Boy Advance strategy game, and uh, they've just done a, a HD remaster of it. I mean, in order to do a, a remaster of a Game Boy Advance game, you probably gotta, you know, rewrite and recreate the game, but um, also it's the first two games, so it's it's a duology kind of remaster, but still, I think it's the same principle of it's the existing game, but with, you know, a coat of paint. It's, it is, hopefully, a proper remaster. Is the name of the game called Rebooted? That doesn't... I think it is called Rebooted as well, but it's not a... It's not a reboot. Um, and then I love this. It's like, okay, we do a jump here. Ooh, that would have been a bit weird. And uh, that's the end of the level. We've got a fun little cutscene here. Not interrupting, am I? Not bleeding, are you? Not about to use this place as a dunny. Eh? No, and no. Good. Good. Just don't want any fly carrying visitors in here. Right. I understand. Bonk, bonk. What happened? Woke up in the jungle with one of those little blokes snacking on my leg, didn't I? A tribesman? It isn't usual for them to eat right off the bone like that. Well, it was dark and I, I never got the bugger, so I can't be sure. Something spooky is in that jungle. Our air carrier crashed up in the mountains. Every night some of my men would vanish without trace. Others fled in fear. Then this happened. And I brought the men down to shore for safety. Only for us all to be captured by this greedy mob. Some sort of sacrifice to their god who lives up in the hills. Though it seems I've not been invited to the Barbie. The Barbie. <laughs> right flesh can be a bit of a delicacy around here. For real? Listen, we'd better get you out of here. Do you know how the tribe crossed the swamp down there? Which stones they tread on? Yeah, but uh, I'm staying put. With this wound, I'd be like a fill-up station to every diseased bug in the bush. I'd rather be the main course of the real feast. Hey, if you see any of my men alive in there, direct them to the North Shore, will you? Away from here. The North Shore. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, he's just chilling on this bed. You can't shoot him, don't worry. Um... <laughs> Every guy into Oh, yeah, exactly. And in this case, Australian. How fun. I don't know if they got an actual Australian, but he, he, he does the accent pretty well, so. Uh, welcome to the second level, Crash Site. Uh, there's more Crash Site in this level, but, uh, well, as opposed to the previous level. But, uh, interestingly, this level starts right at the last one. Like, we're at that swamp. The, the, that's that's where the level ended, and I love how you can wander back, and uh, whoa, whoa, try to walk a bit further. It's like whoa, whoa, bits of rubble everywhere, whoa. and then uh, pretty much all those pathways are all blocked off, so you can't go back. Australian guys are generally buff. That is that is a true statement. I'm gonna get out of here before you all get sick of the shaking. Um, 
But yeah, in order to start off this level, which is, you know, from the this lily pad sequence, and I love how literally all they have to do is just not do the lily pad sequence. You gotta look at this map and then go, ah, X marks the spot. You gotta jump on the correct lily pads or else you'll sink in mud. You know, you know how the mud do be. Um, I think, ooh. Not the close one, it's the far one. Yeah. Um, so let's sort of run through these game awards. Uh, I've got nominees. Let's start off with the game of the year, shall we? I've actually, I've not got too much a problem with most of these nominees, but, uh, little guy in the bottom left, he is a little adorable. Good fun, little, little tiny adorable munchlax. Uh, I remembered that, it was just this way. That was it. <laughs> I think we'll check the map again. I am now on the fourth one from the bottom. I appreciate it's bottom up as well, just to just to give you a bit of guidance. Um, so uh, so the game of the year nominees are Alan Wake Two, Baldur's Gate Three, The Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom, Marvel Spider Man Two, Resident Evil Four, and Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Also, for reference, the game of the year nominees uh close like the nominees themselves could be released up until friday but these nominees were announced like uh sorry as in like three days ago on the 17th friday uh, but interestingly they announced these on the tuesday on the 14th so it's like some of these could could have come out and i think it's, it's more for the player's choice award because people can vote on a game so it's like you can technically vote on a game that came out as of three days ago Look at all this MP5 ammo. How many secrets are we dealing with? Another three. Three secrets? I do not know where all the other secrets are, I'll tell you that. Um, it's probably one of the clearest secrets I think I've seen in this game as well. I'm gonna do some jumps and boom! We are across the muddy swamp. And uh, obviously, what is a level called Crash Site? Without Lara's most, uh, you know, a, a famous enemy. We got this mist. Mist is always good. The raptors are back. The raptors are back. This is entirely a raptor level, and I hope you you will appreciate this level. They mean serious business in this one as well. I swear they, you know, have like twice as much health as what they used to. But it's like super combat heavy this level. They they take a, such a beating. Yeah, no, that's a that's a little little munchlax that I totally did not steal from Cerebi.net um like ages ago. Uh a little sprite. It's actually it's it's from a, a Koro Koro magazine which talked about Pokemon. The very, very first female lead game nominated for Game of the Year was Bayonetta 2 in 2014. I Oh, I still gotta play Bayonetta 2, I'll tell you that. Poor Wii U, rotting on my shelf. So I gotta play it, but I'm amazed that one. I well, I guess. Well, I guess this would have been the um the 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 Jeff Keighley Game Awards um. Which used to be the Spike TV Game Awards, um, is 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 that like the 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 category we're going with? Because I was gonna say like, no way would, you know, Metroid Prime, not be like a game of the year of that year, um or. Perfect Dark? Uh, what's some other ones? Eternal Darkness. That one's a little different though, because you do play as a lot of different people. Yeah, oh, these raptors really mean serious business, and they're gonna just munch off all my health. I'm gonna lose all my health in this level in particular, I tell you. I'm not very good at fighting these raptors. I'm actually using a shotgun. It might be, it might be the good place for the shotgun. Even though I've only got 12 ammo, but it's like, it's mostly raptors in this level. Uh, the high level of what uh, this level, lots of, lots of use of the word level. I, I know there's a secret somewhere up there, because that's that's like a ledge that just seems very clear. But how do you get to it? I'm not too sure. There's something involving climbing over there. You can see some rails, but. I couldn't figure out how to do anything over there, so I'll just leave that one there. 
Um, but the main goal with this level is that uh, there's a giant crash plane here. I don't know if you could tell, there is a giant plane. And uh, this plane needs two keys in order to turn on in some way. Try again. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna show, I'll, I'll show this climbing sequence, but I've legit got no clue what you do up the top. It's a bit of an early one. The Game Awards didn't start until 2014. Yes, but the the Spike TV ones was uh, a couple of years earlier. And Jeff Keighley was hosting that one, and I don't know, like, sort of being... I don't know if it's been grandfathered into the same kind of vein, because the production quality wasn't anywhere near as high, but they did have Reggie. So that's got to mean something. Uh, but yeah, I've got no problem with any of those game nominations. Kind of cool, Bayonetta was the very first female lead game nominated for TGA. Yeah, no, it's cool. That's cool. So you can actually, like, climb across here like this, and then drop down here, and you've got this little tiny ledge that you can stand on. And then... Lovely wooden tree logs. Bit of a jump. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I've got no problem with any of those game uh, nominations. I think, uh, as someone who has not played Baldur's Gate, or most of the games that are going to be on this list, um, take all my, my word with a grain of salt, but if I'm basing it purely off the internet zeitgeist and popularity, um, it seems like probably Baldur's Gate is going to win a lot of categories. Tears of the Kingdom is a great game and should continue to be mentioned. Um... So, yeah, so I get up here, and then I'm like, now what? Like, I want to... The camera made it look like, you know, you could, like, lean down this ledge and... But I don't know if you could grab the next ledge. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna climb down here. You're gonna see what I mean. Well... <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I can't even move any more left. So I'm trying to look around, I'm like, hmm, don't exactly see anything I can grab, unless this is a ladder? Is this a ladder? Is this why I'm just so blind? It is a ladder! Oh! <laughs> but then where do you go from here? Oh, no way! Ah! Oh, you see that? It's the tiniest freaking ledge down here! Whoa! Real-time secret discovery. Real time. I just had to stop and look. I was looking too much over the slope. I'm learning more how to tomb raid. Because I saw this ledge ages ago and I knew it's gotta be up here somewhere. Ah, oh, what a what a cheeky ledge. Now what? Oh. <laughs> Keep crawling around the corner. Where is this taking me though? And it's all optional as well, because I don't remember doing any of this. Um, I'm, I'm going to save it. We're going we're gonna to keep going. I'm going to commit to this little hidey hole. Uh, let's see. We got a little little bit I can stand up here. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, no problems with any of these game awards, but certainly Baldur's Gate seems to, you know... It's got the Steam Play account to, to commit to it. Um, Tears of the King, I did really enjoy. Um, Alan Wake 2, I'm surprised? Because, I don't know, I, I, I lean in, in like PC hardware a, a fair bit. A lot of the discussion I saw and heard was this game's got really steep system requirements. At the end of the day, it wasn't actually that bad in terms of it looks good for what it's offering. It's just it's such a high minimum. Um, hi there, Lara's butt. I would like to look down. I don't think I'll be able to look down. Um, we're gonna keep wandering over here. This is a very involved cave. Uh, and I have not wandered in here before, but I can guarantee this has to be for a secret, right? Yeah. This will be good. Uh, what were the other ones on that list? Um, do, 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 do. Unlock the screen with one finger while I'm climbing forward. Uh, Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 might be in another, like, 
you know, uh, oh, you need to climb. You need to pull some levers so you can activate these two and continue climbing. Oh, that's a drop. That is a mm, that's a drop. <laughs> that's a drop. Okay, cool. Okay, so the strategy is uh, we need, we need a well. I guess you need to climb over here, anyways, because you need to get over this ledge, and then you need to find one or two switches to open the bridge there. Um, yeah, Spider-Man 2, probably in the same boat, where it's like, I've heard enough people do enjoy it, and hey, it's a PS5 game. They finally released one. Um, so there's that. Resident Evil 4, yeah, same boat as well. I, I, I think I heard enough people enjoy it that it deserves it. Um, I did see more criticism of, um, Resident Evil 4 than probably any other game, though, that's gonna be mentioned here. Um... Sometimes because people can com compare and contrast, they prefer the original in, in its own ways, and then it's like, you know, not they finally release. <laughs> no, but like legit, there's not many PS5 games. There's there's a lot of games that are on every system, including PS5. Uh, also, hmm, that dropped. That. I could probably climb around to the other lever, can't I? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, uh, the Xbox series is in the exact same boat, where, as a person who plays games on PC, the only reason why I would consider a PS5 is if, like, my PC sort of sucks. And yet, no, uh, like, I think there is a degree of... It is cheaper to play games on these systems. Okay, there you go. I was just saying... Uh, well, I, I, I'm also an idealist, and I'm like, it, games should keep being made for the PS4 and PS5. Like, I'm not saying... Yeah, yeah, because it's architecturally very similar. It's still another x86 with an embedded AMD processor on it. Um, so now that raises that bridge, and I think that now means that... Uh, yes. No. Yes? And that means I can climb all the way across, but I can jump back, so... Uh, so few people at PS5 that devs went back to making PS5... Uh, from PS5 games to PS4 and PS5 versions. That, yeah, yeah, that's true. We're at this weird point where, like, yeah, there's a bunch of games that are not releasing on the older consoles. Um, and I can only attribute that to... They just want to push graphics hardware. Like, you know, they're okay with... PS5 is this, you know, consumer base. So if I raise that, now... Do we have... Well, no, you need that, because that's that's your bridge to the exit. That's... You need that one. But if there's another way to get around there... Actually, hold on as well. Let's just bounce back here. Seems that everything down below me is just death. But you can see, well, I've got one bridge, but not... Both. I've got that one up there, but not that one. So hold on, let me let me jump back up here again. There are. I, granted, the PS4 has a massive player base. Like, I. Oh, maybe that's where I came from. Maybe maybe it all lines up. Uh. Potentially doesn't. I think there's another lever down here. Must be, right? I keep seeing ads for PS5. There, I think... Yeah, it, it seems like there's enough people who have a PS5 that it does make sense for game devs to drop the PS4. And obviously, producing PS5-only games does push more of the new hardware. Whereas, like, if you constantly only had a PS4... You know, well, rather, if, if all games kept supporting the PS4, it's like, oh, like, what is the point? I'm going to do a jump. Hmm. I, I'm looking around, trying to, trying to discern the room. Oh, that is a pit. That is a pit. Oh, that is, yeah, okay, that is a forever pit. Cool. Hmm. Yep. Okay. 
Okay. I'm I'm just trying to piece like the 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 ledges, the levers I need. Because now we're up here. I've thrown that one switch. We have activated the one platform around there, but I still need a second one, right? I raise this, and now we've lowered that one. That's all this does. This only moves that. So there's got to be another lever, right? Right? Gosh, I really want that secret. It does really look like there's something down there, though. But how do you... How do you get there or land there? Actually, there's a gate. Hmm. The path to, like, curve around there a little bit. Uh, oh, and there's another gate over there. And is that... A climbing wall, I see. Um, this is very curious. I'm... I'm gonna take a shot in the dark. I'm gonna take a real weird shot in the dark. This is gonna be a very weird jump for me, but... We'll see how it goes. There's probably a better way of doing this. A much better way. Or, well, yeah, one, one, one that doesn't cause you to sail past, because I'm like... I'm not aligned at all. But if you see what I mean, it's like, hmm, there's a rock wall there, which obviously looks like you can climb across it and down. Either that or it's just you climb from the top. So, in fact, actually, I think that's that's how you're supposed to do it. I think I've broken it down. I've broken it down. I've figured out Tomb Raider level design in real real time. PS4 player base is so much bigger than the PS5. I see the ads of Sony doing so much heavy prompt for the PS5. No one really wants it. Um, the only... I. I if, if PS4 availability gets bad, then yeah. But, it's like you said, early for PS... Uh, yeah, early, like, for PS4 and PS5 version, yeah. I... Yeah, I don't, I don't see any architectural reason why, you know, games can't be on the PS4. Uh, and in fact, I'm really glad that it's... You know, f the only people who do keep dropping the PS4 for support is just, like, AAA devs who are just releasing things on crazy deadlines. But, like, stuff like... The Turok 3 remaster is coming out very, very soon. And it's like, yeah, that's for PS4. If you're releasing it for Switch, it's like, yeah, of course your game's going to be on, like, older hardware. You might as well support that. I got to sneeze. Oh, no. Uh, hey, Pooey. There we go. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so I know I can't climb it down there, but, ooh, check it out. I now know what a rock wall looks like. <laughs> I don't know how to climb up in there, though, but I'm just going to hope. There's no there's no lever in there, is there? No. Mortal Kombat 1 not coming out on PS4, but coming out on Switch. That is wild, though. Hogwarts Legacy on the Switch came out, like, the other week, and it's, like, fine? Which is very strange. Uh, oh, this is going to be a very weird jump. Can I go down one, one more level? Yeah. One more? Yeah, okay, that'll be good. Okay, that, that that's a very weird one, but I'm glad. Look at that, I figured out Tomb Raider level design. I did it. I've learned. I've learned, you know, the arts. Because I have not wandered into the secret before. And also, how long is a secret? Like, oh my goodness, guys. This is all completely optional. If I don't get, like, you know... A laser beam for the end of this than a, a more of a retro game. I, I am more of a retro gamer, yeah. I checked out my YouTube. I, a lot of the games I play are ones that, like, you know, partially from my childhood. Although Tomb Raider wasn't in my childhood necessarily, but it was just, you know, I played it ages ago. Uh, how do I... How do I? Is that an actual wall? Can you actually climb that one? Maybe. Let's give it a, give it a go. Um, <laughs> yeah. I can't tell. Is that a... No, that's not a wall. That, that ain't a wall. I was, I was seeing a rock texture. Happy Lara. She is. No. Why, why can I climb onto this ledge? There must be a... Uh, I 
I guess I can I go back from the ceiling to to this? Maybe. The point is, yeah, no no upset oh did I'm reading through this as well. Super Mario Wonder, that's the other one. Uh yeah, you can't go from the wall to the ceiling. You can only go ceiling to wall. So why was that bit opened up and how do I jump back onto the ceiling from that corner? Away I go! Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Hmm. Uh, I have nine viewers right now watching me embarrassingly. Uh, it's not like this, like, flat wall. That's not a... <laughs> that's not a climbable wall at all. Uh, listen, I figured out the second switch. I've now just got to figure out climbing up this wall, right? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. You just gotta do- you just gotta do a pro jump. Oh, I hope you can tell what I'm trying to pull off there. I've got a safer strat. That's the safer strat. There we go. Do, 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 do. There we go. There we go. Just grab the ledge. Boom! There we go. I got there in the end. I got there in the end. That's what I mean. You wanted you wanted some some bit of blind Tomb Raider three. There you go, there you go. That's your that's your blind Tomb Raider three. So I'm just gonna send me custom levels, and then I'm just gonna have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, Mario Wonder. It came out super recently. I know people like it. It's got the same issue as another game on the Game Award nomination, which is I think I know too many people who are just turning off the voice acting. Um, I don't know, I remember growing up and going like, oh, you know, games that get the voice acting in just feel so much better than the games where you just gotta read text. And over time, I think everyone's appreciated there's a time and a place, and there's definitely a way to get voice acting wrong in a way that you get reading wrong. Um, it's good to be able to do stuff in real time, though, but yeah, there's some where it's like, we're still not at that point where people can read out, or rather... Uh, maybe maybe it's an it's an AI solution, but uh, like reading out like your player name, for example. All that work just to like get up a little bit higher. Let's let's do another save. Here is one with the fifty million saves. <laughs> But this gets you a little bit higher. In fact, actually... What the... Oh, I've triggered the... There's a couple of enemies and raptors to my left. And I guess it's just triggered that. I didn't trigger a single secret there, did I? I just... Because I was going to say, it, you don't have to go through that cave in order to get up on this ledge. Yeah, those, the raptors are going. But yeah, like, you, you legit don't have to climb up all that in order to get up onto this ledge. Just to go into that plane, just to be able to put the two keys that I haven't gathered yet. So, uh, but yeah, no, you can, you can just jump up from here. Okay, you, you just go here and climb up this ledge. Oop. There you go. That's how you do it. <laughs> Did I? Was there meant to be a secret in there? I feel I felt good about jumping through all that, only to then realize. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Let's let's uh, progress with the uh, actual level, shall we? Um, down here is a very dark corridor. I hope you like dark corridors. It's not actually that dark. We've seen. I've seen darker. Jump out to the other side, and there's a dude chilling there. Hello there, dude. How are you doing? Let me greet you with my raptors. Oh gosh, they no 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 no. Your your enemy is over there, man. Your enemy is over there. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Look at his tasty meat. He's shooting you. Why are you why are you going for me, fellas? Come on. Get him. Go. Oh my gosh. Hello there.
That was six shotgun shots. I don't think that's worth it, really. He's not going for the guy, though. Or maybe he is. Maybe he is. He's, <laughs> he's trailing him. He's getting it. He's going in circles. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? The raptor with the poor turning circle or the, the guy with the MP5? Oh, nah, he's chomping. He's chomping. He's figured it out. He's figured it out. Oh my gosh, the guy won! Did I- I did not shoot the raptor at all, did I? That was a full health raptor taken out by the guy. He did it. The madman. The legend. Very nice. Very, very nice. Look at that <laughs> slightly phasing in health pack. It's almost like they know you're gonna need some health. Uh, this is a very cheeky... ...kind of jump, I think. Yeah, cause I keep taking full damage. I believe that is a secret. It's just... ...getting the jump right. Very, very tricky, but... I say, I say trying to, trying to go for secrets, even though I've already missed like 50 bajillion leading up to this point. Um, yeah, I, anyway, moral of the story is, I got no gripes for the game award, uh, for the game of the year awards. Uh, some of the other ones though, start to relate with other categories. We've got best game direction, Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Tears of the Kingdom, Spider-Man 2, and Mario Wonder. That's right, it's five of the six games. We, this is, this is my other problem with the game awards constantly. Is uh, what is the point of some of these other? Oh, okay, okay. What is the point of some of these other categories if they're just going to keep getting all the same nominations? You know, uh, I'm going to try it like this, and uh, it possibly might not work, but we'll see. Du -du -du -du. Oh, it definitely won't work. Oh, oh. Stuff it, stuff it. Those flares don't deserve me. Look at this little tiny dinos. Chilling around like it's the beginning of Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park 2, sorry. The one where, uh, the woman screams and then it just hard cuts to Jeff Goldblum yawning in front of a train station. Check in here, we've got, uh, the keys, as we will. Commander Bishop's key. Also behind us is uh Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actual giant T-Rex. This one is insane. Hello, nondescript midnight. How are you doing? This is the intense T-Rex. It's like the T-Rex in the first game, bit of a joke. T-Rex in the second game, so far out of the way, you wouldn't even know. This T-Rex is serious business because he takes so freaking long to die. Because you're not meant to kill him. You're really not meant to kill him. You're meant to do this part of the level where they go, Huh, what if we got the player to run back and forth along this hallway twice? Hide in here and the T-Rex just gives up. He's just like, oh, no. She's gone in the room with the switch. But unfortunately, you stick, you stick your head- Oh, well, hi there, hi, hi, how you doing? You stick your head out one moment and he's like, all on you, all on your business. Good thing I've got a grenade launcher. That might help. What killed the dinosaurs? The grenade launcher! <laughs> Try me. Oh. Helps when you aim it the right way. Or when he walks into it. Ooh, it's coming a bit close. Cause uh, there is a there is a custom animation of him, you know, eating you up like that. You couldn't really see that one, but it did just happen. Trust me. <laughs> I think I'm shooting him. You don't really have to shoot him. I just want to see if it would be cool if I can take him down. That's all the grenade launcher. That's all it's for. That guy. I really want to take him down. It'd be fun, but it is just gonna take like absolutely forever. Oh well. Oh well. 
gonna make a run. Make a run. Oh, oh, oh. Little tiny Dino back over there. So, uh, <laughs> there's another corner. Also, I love this bit of water just to really throw you off. Hi there. Grab that. We got another switch. Switch number three. Uh, unfortunately for me, um, releases the raptors from back where switch one was. So you gotta deal with like everyone going on here, man. You got these little tiny, little tiny green dudes, very large red dudes, incredibly large, you know, really big guy. Hi there. He's gonna, he's gonna really follow me up. That's why they've been given the big health, though. If you can, if you can tell what's going on in here, I don't know, man. It's a bit chaotic. I'm getting it. I'm winning. I'm winning. Are you winning, son? Or are you just seeing this? I got him. I got him. It's all good. <laughs> That's why they've been giving flares as well, just so you can see that there was a flare there. I got a small health here, just in case. And then a bit of a staircase that will lead you right out. You can even pop shot the T-Rex if you want. He's totally got, like, still tons more health. He can die, trust me, but... Like, what are you gonna do, you know? Shoot him forever? Bro, the meteorite's gonna come and kill him before, <laughs> before I do. Oh well. And he's gonna run away, because of course he does. So the goal of this level is to find both of those keys. That was one of them. That's fun. Um, just, you know, T-Rexes are cool. Everyone likes a good old T-Rex, and, uh... This is, that is the T-Rex of the Tomb Raider franchise. Tomb Raider 1's T-Rex? You know, pretty iconic, but this one? Nah, man, the whole, this is, he is the, the hallmark of this level. And it's like, dude, like, imagine crash landing in the South Pacific and casually there's just a T-Rex. You know? Uh, we gotta deal with the, t there was some dudes here? And there's the raptors, there they are. Hi there, how you doing? Name's Lara. What is Lara short for? Clarity? <laughs> that's, that's not what Lara's short for. There's a lot of weird, like, dimly lit, you know, doorways here. Um, and it's, it's kind of strange. It's just like, eh, you can walk into it, but it's just a wall. Um, weirdly, this one on the right or now my left, there's actually a pathway that you can go to. It is still dimly lit. But uh, you can barely point out that there's, there's a little corridor in here. This leads into a room where there's, you know, action. No, 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 wrong guy, wrong guy. You're going, you're going after the raptor. Dude, bro, bro, raptor, raptor. Although, to be honest, if I'd rather get bit by a raptor or shot, uh... Depends on how you're getting shot, I guess. They can't deal with you when you're on the sledge, though. So, he, he runs off. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what's up. Um... Anyway, yeah, best game direction? I don't know, man. It's, it's the same... Five games. They didn't pick, uh... Interesting. What was the one they didn't pick? They didn't pick, uh, Resident Evil 4. There's no direction with Resident Evil 4, apparently, so... Okay. Best narrative, we have Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Spider-Man 2, yet again, the same three games. But we've also got Final Fantasy 16 and Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. I've heard good things about both. Uh, I know some people were very pessimistic about Final Fantasy 16, yeah, it sucks. Uh, but only some people. I don't think it's really a lot of people, so I don't, I don't think it's uh, very big. Uh, we got another bit of piranha water. That's right, the snakes are gone, but the piranhas are still here. This bridge is a lie. I don't know why I dropped in here before I saved. I- I just died. No- No, I'm still alive! I'm still alive! I was like, I saw my health with like, no- no bits. Uh, did nothing come out besides Spider-Man Alan Wake? Um, oh yeah, yeah, exactly, so. Best art direction, Alan Wake 2. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Mario Brothers Wonder- Mario Brothers Wonder for Art Direction? Really? 
Uh, but the other ones that we got that we haven't had in other categories, Hi-Fi Rush, which I really hope wins more awards than, you know, maybe it's gotten. It seems like a fun game that people have forgotten about. Um, and Lies of P, which came out very recently because there's got to be a Souls-like in there. My brother's one. It is wonderful. Okay, okay. I haven't. I okay, okay. Uh, Grand Assault again. I haven't played it, so uh, ev everything I say is purely based on. And I've seen like YouTube video. Oh my gosh, I goof that one up. Uh, like levels in that game, the world feels more alive than any other Mario game. Like those other games are ver uh, just annoying under every category. It is annoying to keep seeing like Alan Wake two in every single category. Like as much as I'm like you know. Not, no, not even me. I'm not, I was about to say, like, as much as, like, you know, some people are like, ugh, kids games. This is gonna be a fun one. Hi there. Oh, my, he pushed me off. He pushed me off. I had that ledge. I had that ledge, hands down. Oh, my gosh, did I really not save for, oh, I, I apologize, fellas. I apologize. I did, I did the thing where I didn't save for a long, long about time. And that was the worst. That was the worst, like, place to, to die as well. Because it was just like, that one wasn't even, like, entirely my fault. But... Uh, when Counter-Strike won over Terraria's Labor of Love. Oh, exactly. And, and, you know, underlying the entire Game Awards. It's all a popularity contest. Because I'm gonna go through all these categories, and, uh... And, uh, y'all are gonna note, uh, that they didn't give a nomination to the... to the most ultimate game, which I have mentioned in previous years, by the way, uh, but we'll get through it, so, okay, uh, best, so, best audio design, Alan Wake 2, Hi-Fi Rush, Dead Space, uh, oh, sorry, score of music, sorry, Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Hi-Fi Rush, Tears of the Kingdom, we've already mentioned all those games, score of music, hmm, we'll see, uh, I haven't exactly been paying attention to score of music, Tears of the Kingdom was good, but I don't know if it's the best, because I really don't know what it's up against, um, Audio design, Alan Wake 2, Hi-Fi Rush, Dead Space, Spider-Man 2, Resident Evil 4. First time we mentioned Dead Space, and probably this is the category that it deserves to be in. That seems like, you know, uh, this is one as I played the original Dead Space, so I'm just inferring opinions, and I still do not know, um, I've not played any of these games, but, uh... Ooh, my health is much lower than it used to be. I just gotta kill a couple more raptors, that's all it is. And then I'm in the room, I'm in the room. I died in this room so many times before as well. While well, I was going through the first time, so... Uh, get the raptor. So just shooting the guy, apparently. Okay. Uh, while I'm shooting the thing. Best performance! This is, this is my favorite other part as well. And I know that voice actors are important parts of video games. I, it's just interesting that, like, there's other things, like, best director. Not a single other person category until we get to best creator. Like, why do we not have, like, best game direction have best director next to the game? <laughs> I'm just saying. So we got Idris Elba as Solomon Reed in Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Melody Liber... Melanie, sorry, not Melody. Uh... LeBeau as Saga Anderson in Alan Wake 2, uh, Yuri Lowenthal as Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2, Cameron Monaghan as Cal Kestis in Star Wars Jedi Survivor, Neil Newbon, Newbon, Newbon as Astarian in Baldur's Gate 3, and Ben Starr as Clive Rossfeld, Rossfield in Final Fantasy 16. Again, if you know the games, you know, I'm saving by the way, if you know the games, you probably know the performances, um, I know the guy, it's probably Baldur's Gate 3, you know... Uh, I was gonna use the term circle jerk, that's not quite the phrase, but like... You know, it's very popular, so I know more about that guy and, and his performance in particular. I'm gonna, like, bolt immediately. Oh! Oh no! Hi! Hi, Raptor! What are you doing? What are you doing? Why? Are you... That guy felt like he had way more health because that was the same guy I was shooting earlier. Oh well. Um, so yeah, same same thing. Uh, performances, but I do wish there were more categories relating to developers or score or really anything like you know, like 
the Oscars nominates people more than, I mean, it's got the films themselves, but like, it really does highlight the person behind the craft. The Game Awards, it's like, yeah, we know, we know that video games are generally soulless. Look at this raptor, you can't do anything, you can't run anywhere. Who puts the raptor in the trees, by the way? How does he get up here? This poor raptor, man. He tried. He failed, but he, he tried. Uh, this is perhaps one of my least favorite jumps in the whole game because you're on a triangular ledge. You can- oh, true, they can't- I thought they could long jump, but they can't high jump. You're on a triangular ledge and you gotta just- just eek it out. Just- just seek it out to get on this thing. Or you could just probably jump back and jump forward. That probably works too. And- and there's another one! There's another raptor! He's chilling up here. Uh, okay, now we're in the- the- you know, the indie categories where I know less about these games. Games for impact, a space for the unbound, chance of Sanaa, Goodbye Volcano High, Chia, Terranil, and Venda. Um, I know of Goodbye Volcano High for its, uh, sort of infamy on a certain message board where they made their own Goodbye Volcano High. I remember that one, the fact that you know if they can long jump. Well, they got, they got from long legs! Can't say I know anything about uh, dinosaurs other than Lara Croft kills them. True, true. But get the dinosaurs, the Tomb Raider. Um, this is a very weird part because it's like you gotta jump over here. Ooh. Listen, it's it's easier for me to just load and then shoot the freaking dino again. Uh, this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not- I'm not doing- I know there's the dino hanging there! I know, I know, I know. You see? We'll get this guy, we'll get this guy. He's just chilling there, he's hanging by the- by the torso. I'm gonna, um... Yeah, don't know too much about my indie games. Uh, same thing with best indie game, which is not Games for Impact. Um, which also then makes, what is Games for Impact as a category? I believe it's like, games relating, uh, social change or some other kind of thing. I'm not too sure what social change could buy both kind of high is pushing for. I don't know, there's something more to this category that's beyond me as a, uh, as a layman who doesn't follow video games or really anything in the world. Um, he's just chilling there. Uh, but best indie game, we've got, uh, Cocoon, Dave the Diver, Dredge, Sea of Stars, and, uh, Viewfinder. Which one was the one? Was it Dave the Diver? People said it's an indie game, but it's published by a 17 million dollar company. Which is very interesting, and I do agree. Um, oh my gosh, I I'm looking down at my phone, and then I look up, and I walk out, I'm terrible at this game. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm playing like trash today. It's all because of that cave. I'm all so thrown off because of that one cave. So what you gotta do is that, obviously, you saw the piranhas earlier. If you shoot the- oh, he's, he's, he's gone down and, uh... Oh, no. Oh. It's not to criticize the quality of Dave the Diver. I'm just saying that, like, you know, maybe a little less indie game than, uh... than, uh, potentially it could be. Um... But yeah, I think if you just, uh, break your neck, first title by the studio, it, 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 yeah, is it, like, it's published by a larger studio, isn't it? Like, it's less indie game from the size, but definitely, yeah, like, the actual number of developers, which always raises a question of how much indie is too indie, I'm sorry, how much, how much indie is indie enough? I swear I'm shooting at this guy, man, there he goes. How much indie is indie enough? And how much indie is, uh... You know, they're not really indie. You know what I mean? Uh, to which I would then say... Talus Principle 2. So with the piranhas distracted, it actually gives me the ability to, one, swim right up to them. I do have a bunch of people. Yeah. I don't know if you can have, like, an indie game with, like, an investment studio as well, you know what I mean? Where it's, like, technically your worth is very high, but... You are self-published. I would have argued that, like, well, yeah, like, if we're going off indie as in, like, 
self-published than anything Codemasters made until 2021. It's like, uh, pretty up there. But yeah, alas, you can't climb across this bridge. You've got to do what I can only describe as the jankiest jump to get to the other side, which also involves climbing up this whole thing again. You had to go up, shoot the raptor down, and you got to climb up again. Um, I remember Cocoon. I remember Cocoon. Um, Viewfinder was the other one, by the way, when I mentioned uh, games where people turned off the audio. Um, that one was a, a, a funny one when uh, I saw Joel do it. I don't know much about the, the game, but, uh, hey, you know, I, I, I like me good uh, perspective puzzle games, so. You know, but, but as much as I rip into it, it's like, again, there's not really any game in this list where I'd say they're not like, good or noteworthy. Uh, worst I can say is I don't know about them. That's it. But I'm not going to, like, criticize games I don't know about. Because there are some people on the internet that do that, and I'm like, man, there's so many more hills to die on than, you know, not knowing about a game and then criticizing it. Which is always a fun part where it's like everyone wants to be a video game critic because it's just like, I got spicy opinions and get lots of, you know, oh, no, that's not how you do it. This is a very, like, tricky jump. I don't actually know what even is the right way. Where am I looking? <laughs> I don't even know what is quite the right way of doing this, so I sort of commit to the worst of both worlds, which is you jump kind of there, and then at least you're facing the right way when you fall off the ledge. There's probably a better way, especially when the raptor comes out and takes off the remaining part of my head. Get out of there! Oh, now there's multiple- Oh no, I did the thing where I pressed the roll button and I paused and I tapped out and now the game's minimized. Sorry, fellas. And now I'm pausing. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Uh, but also, uh, yeah, uh, is, is Talos Principle an indie game? Because I'm pretty sure this is- Well, it's not- I, it, it's published by Devolver, isn't it? So it's, you know, technically not indie, but it's low-ish budget, but it's also pro team. They, they publish kind of high- higher budget stuff, because they're not an old team. Most of these games are by teams that have made one or two games. The Raptors cannot escape. They are trapped in here with me. This is called the Traptor, if you will. Oh, he really loves that corner. He thinks that's his, his salvation. Okay! Dark rooms aside, let's finally shine some light and reveal that yes, you can pull a lever. And all it does is that it reveals another raptor. There's another button. There's another lever. Can I, can I pull this without the, the raptor bothering me? Nope. Nope. <laughs> the raptor is gonna bother me. Get out of here. I'm glad that they got a safety leg, but it is still kind of annoying that... <laughs> There's just so many raptors in this level. I wish that there was a really quick way of taking them out, you know? Oh, and they opened the door on me, so. Oh, I'm just gonna hit that lever that I can't see anymore. No, no, never mind, never mind, the raptor's coming back. The raptor is coming back. He's, he thinks he's eating me, but my health isn't going anywhere. Alright, yeah, let's get this back again. Let's read out the rest of these nominations, shall we? Best Debut Indie Game, Cocoon, Dredge, Pizza Tower, Venba, Viewfinder. That makes me sad that Pizza Tower is apparently only a debut indie game and not a best indie game of all time. Again, that's one where I was like, I know the reputation, so... Oh, hi there. No, 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 I need to go on the ledge. I need to go on the ledge. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. But again, all my health is going away, so... Best Ongoing Game, uh, which is a category of games that I wish... I, I mean, I guess it's worth a mention, but, man, man, you know, I want more games. I don't want my games to go on forever and be super long, because all these games are Apex Legends, Cyberpunk 2077, which, by the way, that's DLC. It's a very different kind of ongoing game, isn't it? Oh, 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 I'm in, I'm in the jaws of the raptor, if you will. Get out of there. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, which is just an MMO and sort of comes with the territory of paying for a subscription. I 
Anyway, fun fact, uh, isn't uh, GTA 6 rumored to be a subscription-based game? That's not a fact, it's, it's a rumor. <laughs> um, yeah, take a grain of salt. Uh, Fortnite, which is still ongoing, and Genshin Impact, which is still ongoing. Uh, all of those games, uh, perhaps? I guess they've got, like, ongoing traction, but, uh... Yeah, it's like, oh, okay. Uh, this also ties in with a uh, category of best community support. Also, finally, all this trudging through Raptor territory and we finally get the other key. Also, there's another Raptor right here, just, just for fun. Again, okay, how did he get into this little tiny room? Maybe it's a cage. Maybe it's actually a cage. But it's like, this legit, like, this just looks like a mess in the sense of like, I'm leaning forward, I'm diving forward. I'm hitting this Raptor, I tell, uh, trust me, I'm hitting him. Let's circle straight from. It's very hard to follow this raptor. Also, it's a very long level, ain't it? We're nearly at the end, don't worry. Fortunately, I don't think you need to go any long route in order to exit this area. You just... <laughs> they're still... They're still munching. They're still going over there. They're still going. Good stuff. Um, alright, best community support, Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, and No Man's Sky. Final Fantasy 14 in both these categories, same as Cyberpunk, and community supports, I don't know, like, what do you call community support? No Man's Sky is eternally being voted for best community support, uh, but not ongoing game? I don't know, like, that's probably a distinction, they probably make the distinction, it's just, you know, is that the distinction I would make? I don't know. Um, best mobile game, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Is... Is that still up? I guess it must be. Um, Honkai Star Rail, Hello Kitty Island Adventure. I want that one to win. Um, Monster Hunter Now, and Terra Nil. Hey, isn't that the other game from earlier? So climb up onto the, onto the plane. And, uh, down the hatch with our two keys. And obviously, the music every time, just every, like, five minutes. Hi there. Just, oh, they love... They love these raptors. They don't appear in any other level as well. It's just this one. They go overkill on this level. For a level called Crash Site, there sure is a lot of... Dinosaurs? I don't know where I was going with that one. Um... Alright, next category, best VR AR game, uh, Gran Turismo 7, Humanity, Horizon Call of the Mountain, Resident Evil Village, Synapse. Uh, yeah, my, my VR knowledge is just none. So, best action game, Armored Core 6, first time I've mentioned that one today, haven't I? Uh, Dead Island 2, also that one. I don't remember Dead Island 2 getting good, like, amazing reviews, no. so, just, when I keep saying that Metroid Prime and Quake 2 are not on this list, it's the fact that Dead Island 2 is on there. Because um, I swear Dead Island 2 came out and people said, Well, it is... Exactly like a sequel to a game that came out a long while ago. Uh, more, but better, sure. But, uh... Not sure if people said it was worth the wait. Um, Hi-Fi Rush, Ghost Runner 2, and Remnant 2. They are all sequels. Armored Core 6 is the only one that's not a 2. Not saying you can't make a sequel and be the best game of all time, but, uh... Also, I was gonna replace it with Quake 2, which isn't really much better, so... Well, it's, it's better to me. That's all that counts. Um... Also, uh, given that how much of this level has been, like, killing raptors... Let's do... Uh... You know, when people say, I want games to be like classic Tomb Raider, throw this lever, and, uh... This turret... You know, flies out, basically. You can mount the turret! Man the turret! Blow these raptors to smithereens! <laughs> Just a mounted rocket launcher, you know? Uh... There are apparently 30 raptors who are alerted to the presence of you. And your wonderful key hunting skills, so you must destroy all of them. Make them all extinct. Oh. I second guess. They're not too bad if they come right up to you, because it's just like, you know, love tap and you don't take rocket launcher damage.
but oh my goodness, it's just like, man, you know, if you wanted a, a, an explosive finale, here you go. And the best part? This is only level 2 out of 4. The Nevada levels are only, you know, there were 3 levels, but here it's like, oh, we got, we got a, a nice little 4th one to conclude the set, and uh, <laughs> casually this one ends in a wonderfully explosive way. I think, oh. We might almost be done. <laughs> might almost be done. There's, there's a lot of them. I, have, I, have I reminded you there are a lot of raptors? I think we're good. I think we're good. Now, for some odd reason, the game doesn't really highlight because when on earth have you been on a mounted turret in this game? You're just supposed to know that you shoot up there. It's, I don't know. Just, just know that you shoot up there. Um, you can probably take a guess though, because it's like, oh, like I've unlocked this, but like, why did I have to shoot a bajillion raptors? And the answer is that. So, take one jump because if you fall in that water, you are very dead. Uh, <laughs> which is a uh, foreshadowing, I guess, of the next level, isn't it? Climb up here, and we, you know you're rewarded with some health. Everyone likes some good health. Uh, what else we got? Best action adventure game, which is not action because the action adventure is its own category. Spider-Man. Uh, Oh, I'm reading this list out of order. Alan Wake 2, Tears of the Kingdom, Spider-Man 2, Resident Evil 4, Jedi Survivor. Four of those games are Game of the Year. Of course, Jedi Survivor is probably not going to win it, especially with its PC performance, unless game reviewers don't care, which might be the case. Um, so, who knows where we'll go to in that one. Also, like all good levels, it needs to end in a cutscene. I mean, it's been a while. We, we haven't been on a tomb this whole level, have we? I love the in-engine cutscenes, they're always good fun. In fact, isn't it interesting that the first game had pre-rendered cutscenes and this one's now just like, eh, bob that head up and down. Fast in this day. You make plenty good flesh pot. You forget. I might be quite hungry myself. Famished, actually. Ugh. Ugh. Why did your ancestors flee from Antarctica so suddenly? Oh. Kuma, Kuma, bad place. Plenty flesh, but for the price of evil, mutilation, the sixth leader, Mauki, was born without a face. Terrible storms. Men afraid. Run born without a face. Set curse of Mauki on the land. No one good enough. But you still worship it? White fella later come here with magic Kuma Kuma stone. In a day, we celebrate the death of him. The feast of smile. One of Darwin's sailors, poor fool. Where's the stone now? <laughs> Same. He lucky fella that kill you. A plenty merry like you. I'll be sure to point that out to him. <laughs> this is a very, very tasteful caricature, ain't it? Well, that was a very, very long level, but you know what? We got, we got two more to go. So, uh, if, if you saw that pause screen, or the, the loading screen for that brief moment, uh, you might notice that Lara, indeed, <clears throat> has to ride another vehicle. That's right, we got more vehicle riding in this level. Um, look at this little cheeky little spot up here. Just with, you know, ammo. And, uh, what is that, grenades? Nice. Very nice. My brain keeps going, ooh, is that flares? Because it comes in a cylindrical canister, as if no other object comes in a cylindrical canister. Just flares. That's it. Uh, a few more categories, don't worry. Uh, best family game, Disney, Illusion Island, Party Animals, Pikmin 4, Su Sonic Superstars, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder. People really like Super Mario Bros. Wonder, but it's been a while uh, since uh, anyone has mentioned Pikmin, and I shall gracefully mention Pikmin because... Games that came out earlier this year, people probably don't remember as much, and I think the Game Awards is the perfect opportunity to mention that I haven't, you know, read out Talos Principle yet, so I'll just keep saying that. We got a new enemy these times, uh, this, this level. These are lizards, I think? 
they spit uh, gas at you. If you remember in uh, Jumanji when uh, Kirsten Dunst got like sprayed by the flower and just fell asleep, that's exactly this. Other than also it's flesh eating. It, it just poisons you. That's it. Um, so, introduce the Whitewater Rapids fun land of this level. What level number are we up to? Nine? Ten? I think ten, actually. Hi there. Oh, hi. Hi. He's coming to drag me in. Proper kappa moment. Not, not like the, what you know, like the, the mythological Japanese demon beast thing. Uh, but that's a nice fun way of telling you that, yes, there is a ledge here. Which is what we'll use to continue down this place. Um, unlike the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the third level of the game, we had to write the, um, the, the G what, what is it, the, the, the 4x4, four four? the quad bike, there we go, I got there in the end, um, not like the level you had to ride the quad bike, uh, I assume, I think this, is this something to the right? I haven't actually gone over here, so, I'm hoping maybe there's a secret. Actually, it might be a shortcut. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go the proper way. I'm just gonna go the way I remember. I'm going the way I remember. That's it. Someone's gonna tell me off. They'll be like, no, no, that was a secret over there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, unlike that level, this one is, uh, very, um, there's a lot on foot. There's a proper section to it. But I really, really dig this level once I, like, replayed it. I was like, oh my goodness. It all makes sense. Because... When I first played this game, I did not spot this, and I was really stuck for the longest time. But you just gotta look out, you gotta look out on the ceiling. Just the more you play this game, and especially after the first two games, which don't involve climbing on the ceiling, you just gotta really look out for it, because they love doing it. Drop down, and we're on this wonderful, uh, almost ledge more climbing. Uh, I don't know much about what makes a best family game, I guess. Um, none of these games particularly have multiplayer, do they? Not really Mario does. Body Animals does. Which leads us into... I'm jumping a couple of categories. Best multiplayer game. Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, Party Animals, Street Fighter 6, and Mario Brothers Wonder. This is the first time I've mentioned Street Fighter, which I thought people legitimately thought was a good game. Like, I don't think anyone really had any major complaints with Street Fighter 6. So it's interesting that it's like, wow, it's all the way down here. Is Baldur's Gate 3 really a multiplayer game, or is it a... This is not the ledge I should be on. I'm I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely dead. Good. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. I know it's got a co-op mode, and I know it's got bits where it goes, hey, you're a multiplayer, therefore this scenario plays out a little differently. Not 100% sure how best multiplayer game it ends up being. Diablo 4 potentially... potentially might be in the same bucket. I don't know exactly. Oh, it's just a little wall. Nothing too deep. Uh, this is p perhaps one of the like weirdest slopes here. It's like a double slope. And uh, you're just meant to... I don't know what's up with this one. The spikes here, you're gonna fall into the spikes unless you go just forward and then immediately jump and you're probably gonna tap the spikes a little bit, but then you're good. And then, uh... Very dimly lit kind of drop here. Wander through. Jump up a bit. Lizard! The lizards are not as bad as the raptors, and given that they, you know, they can barely bite, all they can do is poison you, which is annoying, but... You can deal with that pretty easy. Hit this button because that is an important button and it opens the gate, which is very important for some time later. That's all I can really say. Uh, we can also head off in this direction to the to the right to get a glimpse of water, if you will. But I think there's actually yeah, there's a little tiny hole here. Which we can also wander down. Uh, backing up a little bit, we got best sim Ah, ah. 
How very mean of him. How very mean. I was reading the best sim strategy game. This one is my favorite category, though, out of the whole bunch. And not because, I, you know, I'm not too knowledgeable on simulation and strategy games, but we got Advance Wars 1 and 2, City Skyline 2, Company of Heroes 3, which I remember people really flacked day one, so I don't know if I'll win this one. Um, Fire Emblem Engage and Pikmin 4. That's right, we got three Nintendo games in here, uh, which is very incredible that Nintendo is apparently the... You know, the sim strategy, you know, like, publisher of choice, apparently. Not even publisher, just developer. This is a nice little view of the, the river, but unfortunately, uh, the water is too shallow on our, like, close side, and there's no way you can jump far enough to get to the, the better part, so. Um, is there... I don't really think there's a way to... Nah, I don't think there's actually, like, anything that you can really do over here. I think it's just for the crystal and to get, you know, sort of harassed by a lizard. Oh, he's just, he's just gonna chomp on me, apparently. He's not even gonna gas me this time. He's just chomping. Okay, sure. Sure, I guess. Okay. Uh, best sports racing game. This category is sad because I don't really know if any of these games are amazing as much as it's just, yep, that's the racing games of 2024. 2023, we got EA Sports Football Club 24, which is not, it's not FIFA, it's EA Sports Football Club. F1 23, Forza Motorsport, the, the, the reboot? Oh, uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Turbocharge, and the Crew Motor Fest. I don't remember anyone talking about any of these, except for maybe Forza, and only a little bit. F1 is F1. Uh, you can't, <laughs> you can't change it too much. Uh, same thing with FIFA or EA Sports Football Club. Um... You guys do some weird climbing here. Because it's like, we hit the button, so we've got like, an exit. But it's like, you just get, you just kind of like, wing a little bit of damage there. Okay, uh, innovation and accessibility. Um, as someone who doesn't use many accessibility features, I cannot tell you what Diablo 4, Forza, Motorsport, Hi-Fi Rush, Spider-Man 2, Mortal Kombat 1, or Street Fighter 6 do. I can't tell you. I really can't. Um, I remember Forza Motorsport Sorry, Forza Horizon 5, uh, two years ago, being nominated uh, for letting you sort of auto-drive everything. Or play the game crazy sl I don't think it auto-drove. I think it ran the game at a slower pace. Which meant you would be completely unable to get used to multiplayer. Because you can't enable that multiplayer. I mean, I get it. So oh, that's a, that's a sound in my back. Okay. That was a weird, like, crackling sound if you've heard that one. Um, so with that, uh, door open, we've now got an actual better route down into the water. Um, I wonder if there's actually a nice jump that I could pull off just right here. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh, I think it's just my own audio sound. It's doing fun, noisy stuff. Well, hopefully it doesn't get too annoying. There is a little capper down there. Get him! Get him! How is that a secret? I'm not 100% sure, because this sort of feels like the intended way to do the level, but sure, okay. Let's drop down. Oh. How far are we dropping down? It's, it's getting a bit dark. Are we actually... Look at that. A little MP5. Very nice. Um, so yeah, uh, best adaptation. This, oh, this category as well. Um, best adaptation is very, very interesting because what it's actually doing is it's pointing out a film or a TV show uh, based on a, a game property. I don't actually know what you can do in here other than... Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I, I spotted it. I've spotted it. I've spotted it. Uh, based on a game of some kind. Uh, we have Castlevania Nocturne, an anime series on Netflix. Gran Turismo, the film. The Last of Us, the TV series on HBO. The Mario Brothers animated film and the Twisted Metal, uh, Peacock? It's on Peacock, isn't it? We don't have Peacock over here. It took me a long time before I realized that the NBC logo is, a, is meant to be a Peacock. I just saw it was like a bunch of colors. Um, very interesting. We had a lot of adaptations this year, so I was like, oh, you yeah, know, that's pretty fair. Check out this jump. Whoa! And then this one's my favorite one. It looks like you just do a short jump, but if you stand on that, it just spews fire at you. You're meant to do a long jump. So that you, you touch that with your shoes and then you jump over. It's like, oh, okay. I'm just 
just hear a noise or okay look at that we got a little little uh thing mario bros is right behind bobby for the highest grossing film 2023 it was gotta win it i am i am absolutely shocked at how well the mario brothers movie has made money like that is a very spectacular like release especially given you know we're in a bit of a flatter year when it comes to some other movies or some movies just have really really high budgets Fast X is probably a great example. It's like, it's, I think it's like the fifth highest grossing movie of the year so far. And it's still a loss. There's a, there's a big problem with that one. Uh, well, I guess you can tell what we're doing. It looks like you could swim here until you see the piranhas. And then you go, ah oh, yes, it's no, it doesn't look like I can swim here. There we go, let's, let's keep climbing. Bobby and Mario Bros. dominated this year. Um, it, granted, though, Op, uh, was Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer's third, isn't it? Oppen Oppenheimer's fine. And and Guardians of the Galaxy 3 did pretty alright. And then you gotta start delving in the movies that didn't cost that much. So the lower box office numbers are, you know, at least still fine profits. Um... But like, yeah, when you get to like Fast X, and it's like, bro, they spent like seven hundred fifty million dollars on that movie. I'm gonna drop down here. Okay, cool. Look at this little low ledge you gotta climb under. I love these caves. These caves are cool. And like, I started to really appreciate this level design because I'm just like, this all makes sense. Like sometimes you're coming at things from a weird angle, but it's like I see that jump. Newer games, it's like, it's painfully obvious. But here, it's like, it's that right level of, you know, you're in a location. Where do you go? What do you do? And I know they can get very labyrinthian and very maze-like in, in some cases, but here, just got a call. Ooh. It's not me. I, out of all the people calling you, it's not me. Um, well, it, I'm going to go on to the end of the, the world. This is the third level, but the fourth level is very short, so. Um, I'd probably say less than an hour, but it might still be a bit. Uh, Oppenheimer is third, but Barbie, Bobby and Mario the only... Yeah, true. Not a lot of films break a billion, so a billion dollars is a lot of dollars. Crocodiles, every time. That crackly audio, I can hear it on my end, and I don't know... I think that's just my, um... My, uh... Like, just for reference, no one can hear crackly audio, right? It's just me. It's just my interface being weird. Because if, 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 if you guys can hear the crackly audio, then, uh... Yeah, just just, just tell me, just not, because I can fix that up. This is a rough estimate, because my time plan for today is now. Finish your stream, shower, meet a friend for coffee. Again, who wants a rough estimate for when I'm ready? Um, yeah, I... Like, this is not going to be a three-hour stream. This is definitely still going to be... In the, uh... In the two-hour camp. Um, so we got to do two things before we leave here, which is, uh, one, figure out where on earth that lever went. Where did it go? It was down here earlier. There it is. A little tiny lever. Um, m one thing I, with video game adaptation I want to see. Also, yeah, thing number two is, a uh, kayak. The kayak controls, uh, hilariously. I'll just say, because, uh, if you've ever driven or, or, like, you know, gone in a canoe or a kayak, these things are incredibly, like, hard to drive. People who are good at them, it's like, seriously, that's some mad props, I'll tell you that. I haven't been saving too much this level. Um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a bit sluggish, so, if you, if you see me struggle, it's because this does not control, like, you know, it's not like a car. It's very, very hard to control. Um, wish me luck. Woo! Woo! You are just going to randomly take damage sometimes if you go down these slopes a bit too quick as well. So away we go. Woo! <laughs> go down. What do you mean? Don't go down. Go down. You got to watch out as well because there's uh, some of these red ropes. And if you hit the red ropes... Uh, things will try and kill you. And there's a green rope over here, which you gotta hit because uh, there's a little spike trap that I'm 
casually careening into. Uh, uh, I'm in the spike trap. I'm okay. Okay. It took a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. You gotta hit the green. There you go. Hit the green. By the way, you can't get out of the, of the canoe unless it's entirely still, which is not happening anytime soon. So don't feel like you gotta find a secret. Although there's probably secrets all around. Um, we gotta, we gotta just, 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 just edge, just edge. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, there we go. L right is death. Right is very death. Right is very death. No, 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 no. Oh, the, the back is turning in. No, 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 no. Oh. 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 Can I go? Nope, I can't go. Oh, 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 oh. That's why I said good luck. That's very, very good lucky. It's painful. Um. Talking about video game adaptations, it's interesting that there's some adaptations, like I think people noted the Five Nights at Freddy's movie isn't in there. Um, and given that there's only five nominations, you know, they've done six for some of the other categories. You could totally do six if you wanted to. Um, I would also argue the Gran Turismo movie is maybe a bit of a stretch, because the Gran Turismo movie, um, it's not really a spoiler, it's about a real person's life. Like a documentary about someone who entered the Nissan-sponsored Gran Turismo Academy, which is a TV show where they took people who played Gran Turismo pretty well and uh, taught them how to, you know, drive in racing cars. Uh, that's it when it comes to what Gran Turismo is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I cannot tell what I'm doing, where I'm going. Alright, at least I'm turning left. Go, Lara, go, go forward, go. Oh, you're careening left. Don't do it, don't do it. Ah, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Get out of there, get out of there. <laughs> oh, I think I'm good, I think I'm good. I think I'm out of there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's probably the roughest part. But it keeps going, it keeps going. What do you, th you think the, the river rapids ends there? Nah. We still got more red ropes all over the place. Bats. And now you gotta you gotta dodge left and right. You gotta you gotta slalom these pillars. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, but now I gotta go back. Now I gotta go back. Oh. Now I gotta go left. Go left. Alright, go forward. Go, 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 go. Go. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Fine, fine. Soak a whole med pack on that one. That's just pain. Oh, now I can't tell where I'm going. Now I can't tell. Oh, there's more spikes. Ah. Ah, there's spikes everywhere. Ah. Dude, imagine going on a Disneyland ride and it's like this. Also, you're the one canoeing and, um, or kayaking, sorry formality how different is a kayak to a canoe other than the boat is pointy on the ends of a kayak and you've got like oars on both sides I, Lara, are you good you're gonna go down you're gonna go down there you go we drop down this ledge and uh, we arrive in this room there are piranhas in the center just to warn you you still can't leave go down that that you know that ramp to the right you will dead you will very dead um, but what I love about this area is, like, one, this is a calm place, I would sleep here. This is still sort of river rapids as well. It's very fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if the Grand Turismo film is much an adaptation. Uh, if we keep sailing over here, bit of a right, bit of a right turn. There you go, look at that. It was all, it was all worthwhile because there was a green crystal right there. Also, there is a missing texture. I hope you can spot that. It's doing the, um, the, the, like, V-blank draws where, like, the game doesn't, you know... Like, what is the point in flushing the screen buffer if you're gonna draw entirely over the screen again? Well, in, in cases like that where you don't draw over the entire screen again. Uh, there, this is technically a secret. Uh... In, in, in the kayak. 
This is such a bit of a such a bit of a gutsy one to get because it's just you gotta you gotta try real hard, and then we can just let the current sell me back in while I read out the final category of the game awards, most anticipated game, which is a very worthless category because I don't know, man. Why are we giving awards to games that have marketing hype? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Hades II, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, Star Wars Outlaws, Tekken 8. What, what what do you say about it? These are just games that people are hyped about. I'm hyped about Metroid Prime 4. I can dream. Now, weirdly, even though there's like the plug here, you can actually get out. The canoe does stop, but then you'll immediately get sucked down because, you know, water, I guess. What you're meant to do is you're actually meant to spot Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, yeah, true. Where's that one? Where's Dragon's Dogma 2? Also, isn't, um... Baldur's Gate 3 technically an indie game. I know it's kickstarted, but still. You're meant to ride your canoe all the way up this little, you know, slope. I love going uphill. That's the intended level design. I'm not, this is not like super secret. This is where the game wants you to go. The hype of BG3 seems deserved. It, like, kickstarters get lots of hypes. And, uh, they usually end in tragedy. And Baldur's Gate 3 is finally another example of a, of a Kickstarter that has worked. So, I'm happy there. I'm glad. I'm glad there. Don't nibble on me, crocodile. Don't do it. You know I gotta take it. What, what am I shooting at? Oh my gosh, a kappa. I dodged him. And then I didn't dodge the second one. Dang it. Yeah, there's a player's voice award, so if you're looking back on this, like, months later, or weeks later, because it doesn't take that long. A friend of mine explained to me that he did, uh, in a village, it was this epic quest and stuff, and I was just the first house in the village. Very, very nice. Um, so here's what you gotta do, by the way. You drop down here, and now you are at the plug. We gotta do some of the most, and we've already done, there's already been a fair bit of, like, climbing in this level. We gotta do the gnarliest climb in the world. You just gotta climb this whole gap and you just gotta watch where this path takes you. I love it. I love it. They've embraced the climbing this whole level. It does seem very dense. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm... Like, I'm looking forward to picking it up at some point and giving it a go. Uh, I don't know if I should be playing the other Baldur's Gate games so they're sitting in my inventory. That's the thing, is that it's, it's a, it is a kickstarted indie game, but it is also, you know, using a, the Dungeons and Dragons license, like it is just that. Also, yes, you can tell, oh my gosh, this is going to be pain. And I tried pausing while holding the A button. That's going to, oh, I can't let go and I can't pause and heal. Any other controller, you could hit the pause button. Not mine. Okay, go, 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 go. If I goof this up, it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. And we'll get to the end. And then I can finally heal. Drop down. There we go, I finally heal. Ooh. <laughs> now. Let's perform a long jump. And you're finally safe. Also, look at this! A little rocket launcher. How convenient, how handy. They just give it to you. Like, just, yeah. Uh, you don't need to use it right now, but, uh... This is now the little higher room that we were in earlier. You can actually keep climbing your way back out as well if you wanted to, but, uh... As well as there's the wall that still doesn't have a texture. They got a big med kit over there, as well as some uh, MP5 ammo. Ooh, very nice. Uh, now, there are some other categories for the Game Awards, but these involve esports, and the only thing I'd mention is uh, there is zero mention of Overwatch. Are we officially done with Overwatch now? Can I stop mentioning Overwatch? Uh, um, as well as Best Content Creator, and the only one I know out of this list is Iron Mouse, because I'm apparently a weeb. So, we'll see. Will a VTuber win a Game Award? Can a VTuber win a Game Award? Tune in this December, whatever, when it is. I don't know. Um, speaking of VTuber, uh, XQC was at the Las Vegas Grand Prix. I saw him on broadcast for a frame. 
That was fun. He was just there. Um, thought y'all would like to know. I'm saying y'all a lot today. Sorry. <laughs> I don't ever say y'all. I don't know. It's, it's a weird one. Uh, that's right. More climbing. More ceiling stalactite climbing. I actually thought, oh, legit, this level actually doesn't have too much more going with it, so... We'll see how much longer this takes, but probably not too bad. Okay, we gotta, we gotta time this one very well. Oh, I can move forward a little more. I can move forward maybe a little more. There we go, let's wait for the sequence. Who built this? They built this knowing full well someone would be climbing across the ceiling here. No way would you set up a fire trap like that. The timing is very strict as well, like if you don't know your perspective. I mean, you just gotta know that you're turning right here. Like, you just gotta see that and be like, ah, okay. Is there, some, what, is there a bat right in my camera? Excuse me, bat? Okay, sure. Um. Yeah, uh, yeah, ga Game Awards ultimately, uh, it's a bit of a popularity contest, and even though everyone gets the vote, you only get 10% of the say, the critics get 90%, and you know that the critics, you know, aren't really gonna let a, a, an audience vote swing it. Uh, we gotta do a jump, jump, there we go, we're good. Um, and then look at that, there's more climbing, more climbing. This isn't, is this a ledge that you could have... It's oh wait, this is the earlier one. You remember the earlier bit where I was like, oh, let's not go down this, and then I died in the spikes. I guess if you go quick enough, you could make it. Maybe. But this is what I really, really love about this level is the fact that, you know, now we're climbing up, where all, you know, where the kayaking path was. And this whole area now opens up as like some kind of. Uh, there's like an extra dimension to this level. It's not just you're going down a river and dodging obstacles. You know, we're gonna see in a moment. The obstacles are now the safe spot. And <laughs> it's the, uh, it's the water that kills you. And I love this just like the way of flipping the level on its head. And I know that there's, there's other games, there's, there's, there's games designed around that whole aspect of, you know, Inversing the the goals. I find it funny to look how games and consider how much of the world is lore correct and how much gameplay correct lore correct in this case would be mostly does this make sense IRL? Yeah, like I mean There's no reason really any of these walls should be climbable Yeah, yeah appropriate is probably the best one um, But yeah, there's no reason why you should be able to climb on really any of these walls But it's good fun because it gets the level done, you know uh, okay, so with that we are nearish, nearish the top. It's a bit dark in here. How dark? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's yeah, it, it's it's full off into the abyss. Dark. Climb down a bit. Maybe love the way I climb down everything. Uh, boulders. This is the real Boulders Gate. Duck and cover. And then there's one right above me, and you can see that. Ooh. Don't go too fast, because you got fire. And there's another one. Ooh. Ooh. Crouching is always so good. Especially egregious in new Tomb Raiders where everything collapses. Oh, yeah, everything keeps breaking in the new Tomb Raiders. Yeah. And now, uh. Yeah, this is a. Uh, Sort of upper from where we were. Um, I used to think I was thinking you could climb over there, but it's like, nah, there's just there's just a wall here. You just climb this wall. But yeah, isn't that that is so weird? There's always something like I don't know if there's if there's a coined phrase, but I I always like calling it the Disneyland effect, where video games have a tendency to be like Disneyland in the sense of, wow, great job, you're our best deputy, like that kind of like, you know, pompous, you know, like, what's the term, Pomp pompous may not be the right word, but like that, that idea of like, you know, trying to like, you know, compliment and commend the user to excite them and make it seem like, you know, they're doing a great job. 
Um, at some point, you become incredibly disillusioned to it, and suddenly all the Disneyland stuff is a bit moot. Um, and then at some point, you bounce back and you go, well, I see what they were going for. But you're never at that state, that pure wonder state, the first time. You can't experience Disneyland quite the same the second time. Um, and for video games, unfortunately, there's a lot of Disneylands. See, this is what I mean, by the way. This whole area... Now, it's the rocks that we gotta stick to. The, the dead parts are still dead, so... It doesn't go for too long, though. Also, is that green? There was a green bit all along? Doesn't go on for too much longer, though, so... Ride the zipline down. Activate some spikes while we're at it. Very nice. And, uh, drop down into, uh, what you can tell is above a certain place. I watched Let's Play of Dark Souls 1, because I did not expect it to come to PC. Never had the blind experience. I had the blind experience, and I don't know, man. I, I don't feel very meaningful out of it. I then had the blind plus walkthrough experience, because, uh... There were things that I needed, and I didn't see, or find. The best time with the original Dark Souls, first time with Randomizer. I don't know why I'm like preemptively shooting, but I know that there's a capper who just comes out at me. I don't feel bad for using a, a walkthrough on Dark Souls 1, because I got up to the one boss, uh, was it Orin and Smog? I don't know the names. In, in Anil Londo, halfway in the game. That's a wonderful sound, by the way. Ooh. I, I like that torch turning on, I like this capper coming out. Coming out of the woodwork. Uh, for Dark Souls in general, uh, I had the, I have hundreds of hours in Monster Hunter. Dad as well, I, I had already played Monster Hunter, so... Not enough Monster Hunter, but a little bit of Monster Hunter. So, I wasn't completely blind in terms of that kind of mechanic. And this is what I love as well, the fact that somehow, magically, they managed to hook you back in to the kayak, where we can, you know, safely exit the level. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, hey, if you've beaten the Monster Hunter, I think that's more than what I have. I got uh, a fair bit into the original Monster Hunter a few months ago, and I'm like, I don't know, man, I, my patience is not very high, and the camera is very hard to deal with. Just in that one, in the very first one. But I did enjoy uh, 4 a fair bit when I played it, so... So, to finish up this level, let's take the kayak out. Uh, figure out if I can turn right quick enough. Oh my goodness. And then, uh, you'll notice that with the plug gone, the entire level is just like one massive whirlpool. Which we now need to, hopefully, not completely crash out because you lose so much health you lose so much health when you drop down there there's a ledge over there which does nothing i don't know why it's there crocodile's chasing me listen you're about to exit the level anyway so you don't need to drop any health i should probably save while i'm at the bottom here just in case the crocodile eats me and i don't have to time my like drop any better i know it's like well, it's a crocodile man Goodbye, Kayak. You were fun-ish. Ish. But you will now be gone for the rest of the time. Or I shall now shoot this crocodile to death. But yeah, I, I always love like when a game, you know, embraces the fact that it's a game. Just like a, a ride can embrace that it's a ride. Uh, gate's not open. Do I have to go to the other side? I guess I do. Actually, I... Uh, Is it a gate, or is it a, a lever? Was it over on this side? Let's just check. I don't think it was. No. I think it was a lever. Yeah, it totally was. Underneath. So. Look at that. Making good progress. But yeah, no. I Like, after replaying this level again, it's like, oh, oh snap. Is that another one? Ooh, there's another one! Ooh. Get him out of there! Oh, another two! They didn't even wait! Where are these fellas chilling? Wait, hold on, did they open a gate behind me? Like, I don't know if you could really see that through the, um... Through the, I guess, the water there, but like... 
Yeah, it totally did. They totally did. Hold on. Before I exit this level. Hold on there. Oh, no. I thought this was a door that opened up. Maybe was, they just let the crocodiles out. It really did look like a door, though, because it isn't a repeating texture, but... Oh, well. But yeah, no, I, I really did dig this level, like, on a replay. And I think it's it perfectly encapsulates the, the strengths of Tomb Raider 3's level design. This one level in particular. So, very, very nice. I got two secrets. That's pretty okay. We got one last level before the end of stream and the end of world. The Temple of Puna. So saving the game. Uh, we got a couple of pieces. Uh, one, more blow blowgun people. Uh, we've also got this area over here involving um, a, a hilariously massive boulder this time. The real boulder's gate right here. Um, but it, this is a very straightforward level. There's not really much to it. Uh, but, and I think that's the general trend with the fourth levels when they exist. Area 51 did not have... Uh, another level to participate in, but this one does, and, uh, yeah. Because otherwise this game would have an incredible amount of levels. How many levels did Tomb Raider 2 have? It was like... The original game had like 13, didn't it? Was it 13 or like 15? It's like, this one's edging on 19 if you're gonna count everything. 20 if you count Lara's house. You know, so... I don't mind these, uh, these slightly shorter levels. Scattered amount, and I got poison, as it always does be. But uh, why are there so many of them chilling here? I don't know. Also, I love how in the last round we're like, "Oh, shooting feds!" Oh no. Here I'm like, "Yeah, natives." <laughs> this is uh, this does not look good on my personality, does it? <laughs> also, hi there, health. I'm probably gonna grab the uh, the the. You know, the green crystal, and I don't need to use my med kit, so that's okay. This room is... It reminds me a lot of, uh... Tomb Raider 2, I think, had levels like this. Pretty much, uh, these things are gonna swing past. You gotta kind of stand halfway, and crouching maybe helps? I don't know. I am a Stellaris player and a Crusader Kings player, <laughs> that is true. There are so many games where you kill natives, that's why. Plus as well, unlike the feds who are just defending the, like, territory, these guys are cannibals. Okay, like, I'm not saying you're killing them because they're natives. I'm saying they're coming at you because they want to eat you. So, just a little more understandably. <laughs> not Sims, though, I'm not a psychopath, that is true. The most psychopathic gamers are the ones who play The Sims all day. I don't think I can ever get into the cannibals need help. There's a lot- I mean, the re- There's- That was a terrible jump. The main reason why we don't do cannibalism is because it would be very bad if it also happened to you. It's just ethics 101. It's like, do, do, do I want my opponents to be doing this? Uh, spike ceiling coming on us. We gotta pull- three things and hopefully I'm doing it quick enough oh oh good enough <laughs> good enough and a bit of a drop just for good measure now this is a bit hilarious we got a bit of healing here because you know you know it'd be good um it yeah and it's unhealthy as well like I think I think if you cook maybe but Humans live for a really long time, and that is not very good to me. Like, I wouldn't eat tortoise for the same reason. I'd also not eat tortoise for a lot of other reasons. I love how they give you a little texture on the ground to tell you when you should start running, and then you just gotta, you just gotta bolt it. Because that's the other boulder. Also, the, uh, the sides start breaking. Also, hi, hi there, how you doing? It's not even the ethics of cannibalism, it's just like, you know. Whoa, man. Uh, uh, more of them? Also, uh, like, you know, even if, even if, okay, sure, they're cannibals. They're poisoning you! What are they gonna eat? 
I don't know. They can't like the problem with cannibalism is generally about every disease and stuff. Oh, exactly as well. Because it's like, oh, look at that flesh-eating virus. Guess what I'm eating? Flesh. Slide. I, I don't know. Why I slid backwards. Slide down, and we're in this final room. That's right. We actually have a boss fight. My goodness. Make sure you grab your health because you'll you'll need it. Um, what is the weapon of choice here? I think the pistols might be the way to go, and that's just because if you use any other weapon, like, this guy's got a shield, so you get a wing using or blocking a shield. Anyway, uh, with your items acquired, walk up onto... Duh, I wonder what's going on here. Walk up here, where this guy will reveal himself to uh, be the, um, the Emperor from Star Wars. He fires lightning, and after a while, after you hit him enough times, he'll zap green on the edge, and he'll spawn a lizard. The lizard isn't too bad, but uh, it is a fake lizard, it is not a real lizard. So it, it blows up behind you. It is technically a boss fight, I guess? This really happens, by the way. This is like this ancient tribe out of nowhere, just casually. Also, this lightning really kills you, so, uh, if you get touched by it once, I don't know, man, it's game over. He really likes spawning them in that corner in particular, but he can spawn them in the other corner if he tries. Die, lizard. I love the sound he makes every single time as well. But you just gotta, you just gotta master, you know, holding down the fire button. And then just jumping left and right. Seems to be the best way of going about it, but it does go on for a fair bit of this fight. Which is why I'm gonna save right in the middle of the fight. Just 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 for, for posterity. If only that was an indicator that his health was low. You sort of just gotta wing it. Go jump around, jump around, jump around, and get down. It's kind of fun though that there's a boss fight like fairly frequently in this game though, and regularly as well. Because pretty sure the original game it was like, yeah, just one at the end. Two Raider two with oh, I got him. His uh, his, his chair blows up. Still got this capper though. He's apparently alive. Get him out of there. That was a very great explosion. With that, we have acquired another piece of the meteorite. And I didn't find the secret in this level. It's a very short level. But uh, that's the whole South Pacific area. It was good fun. I really enjoyed it. It was great. We've only got one more location left. The London lo- well, two more technically because you got to end with one. But out of the three choices, one more location left. Rainy London at nighttime where Lara is wearing... Uh, is this a, it's not really a cat suit, it's, it's more like a scuba diving suit. She wears a proper cat suit in a later game. Uh, but we have entered the Thames Wharf. This is not really... Maybe it is the Thames if you go further down, but... Uh, but yeah, no, that was the South Pacific. I really enjoyed it. It was good fun. Lots of fun secrets, lots of stuff all around. Um, but I think that's it. That's, that's it. We've accomplished everything. We've got another piece, which, uh, is... Not, well, it should have been the Aura Dagger, but instead it was called Element 115. That's, pff, whoops, wrong names, guys. Don't worry. It all works out in the end. Um, not sure, maybe they spawned the wrong item in the wrong world. Maybe that was it. Um, yeah, good stuff. So, anyway, with that, I would like to thank you guys so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, or parts of it, or the whole thing, or none of it, I don't know, whichever, you can follow on Twitch, where you'll get the notification of the stream every week at 8.30pm Australian East in daylight time, on a Monday. Uh, and if you missed part of this, you can watch the VOD on YouTube. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, you can also subscribe, where you'll get to know that I am still in progress on the Shadow Man video. I forgot to mention! I, uh, I recorded three hours of it. Thanks for the follow, everyone. I realize my, um, my follow prompts are not working. That's good fun. I get your follows. I thank you, Original Gaz, for following earlier the stream. Thank you, Elliot G85, for following just now. Really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I, I'm trying to finish up 
the Shadow Man Caddos, and I spent three and a half hours yesterday, and I didn't quite get all of them, and I know I've still got to do one last thing at the end. So, uh, all that's just being pieced together as an edited together video, because uh, you guys are not going to watch me sing for three hours. Oh my goodness, it was, it was atrocious. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave a little bit in. <laughs> anyway, with that, stay safe, eat your greens, don't stay up too late, and, uh... I was going to say vote on the Game Awards, but I'm not really selling that. I don't know. I don't know what you do. So, see you, fellas. Have a good one.